Hi, it's me, Mark Bunker. And look at me. I'm the picture of health. It's been a little more than a month since my triple bypass. I'm actually feeling pretty good. Gaining strength every day. I have good days and bad days, but by and large, I'm, I'm pretty impressed by um, how well this recovery is going. And of course, I have to thank uh, the doctors who did a great job, uh, starting with Dr. Chapa. Um, but I also have to thank you for all your well wishes and for all the contributions to my GoFundMe campaign. You have really saved my life. All right, well, the doctor saved my life, but you have made it possible for me to see the doctor. And all the doctors, all the specialists I've had to see since the uh, surgery, and my God, uh, I can't believe the number of specialists I've been sent to. Neurologists, hematologists, endocrinologists, scientologists. Uh, uh, no, I, I lied about that one. Uh, in fact, the doctors did a full workup on me, and they found that I don't have a single body thetan anywhere on me or near me clean bill of health. That's good living for you. So, um, yeah, things are going well, and I'm, I'm going to bore you to tears with some stories now, because uh, uh, I, I find myself fascinating, and I, I hope you do too. <laughs> anyway, um, so the surgery itself was, uh, was fine. Uh, I, I, I was out through the whole thing. I'm assuming it was fine. One thing that happened is that I got a uh, blood clot in my lung, or, if you prefer, a pulmonary embolism uh, during the surgery. So that extended my stay in the hospital for quite some time. It an, added a, almost another full week to the hospital stay. And uh, it was kind of scary. I, I, I made a <laughs> brief video uh, that you, you may have seen. Uh, of me uh, talking to you shortly after I tried to walk for the first time. Signs of life, everyone. I made it through the operation. Woohoo! Woohoo! Man, that was brutal. Oh my god, I had to collapse down. I was clutching my chest. I saw my brother. It looked like he had a little tear in his eye watching me in pain, which I, I, I thought was very moving. Um, and that's when they uh, took me down to x-rays and discovered the pulmonary embolism. So uh, it made it a little rough uh, at the beginning there. Um, had, some, had some trouble walking the halls. Uh, uh, very weak, very lightheaded. Uh, so I wound up uh, spending not just extra time in the hospital, but I went to rehab for a week to build up that strength. And... Um, and I lost a lot of weight in rehab, and, and there's um, one good reason for that. The food. This is what I was being served. Almost every day there was some sort of meat. I think this is pork you're looking at right here. One side was kind of charred, the other side was completely gray. Both sides were completely inedible. I got these mashed potatoes with no butter, with no toppings at all just bland mashed potatoes so I, I lost a lot of weight and I think that may have contributed to me passing out on my last night there at the um, at the rehab center uh, and that was fun uh, I got up in the middle of the night to I guess go to the bathroom and uh, I found myself um, sitting on the floor with my head on the toilet seat like that oh uh, and uh, I, had, I had fainted, and I sat there on the floor thinking, all right, how do I get up? Because uh, when you've had the surgery, you can't lift with your arms or pull with your arms. So I'm on the floor there going, how the heck do I get up? I'm weak. I can't do it. And the other thought I had was, I hope nobody from rehab finds out that I fainted because I don't want to stay here another day. I'm supposed to be out in a few hours. Please, nobody from rehab find me 
And then uh, rehab people came in. It turns out that I, when I fell, I fell uh, against the, uh, the little cord that you pull if you're having trouble in the bathroom. <laughs> so they, uh, they discovered me. But thankfully, the insurance only covered one week. So they, they let me go anyway, even though I'd fainted. I got to thank my brother, Tom, and his, and his wife, Marcia, who came here from Costa Rica to see me back to health. I couldn't have done it without their support. They were absolutely terrific. And they would join me as I did some mall walking. You know, as I said, I have some good days, some bad days. Marcia told me, you know, you have no color at all. You're, you're ashen. I, I snapped a picture, and this is what I looked like. The next day, when we were walking through the mall again, I was told, oh, you look much better today, lots of color. So I took another picture. I don't know if this proves that I had more color on uh, one day or another, but what it does show is that I can't take a bad picture. I am the most photogenic son of a gun you have ever met. Just look at these. When somebody grabs a picture of me, it's going to be a classic, worthy of hanging in a museum. What else did I want to tell you? Oh, oh, uh, yes, my brother uh, actually told me uh, as I was coming home uh, that uh, my neighbor Judy, who uh, tried to have me evicted from the condo uh, almost immediately after I moved in and she found out I was an SP. Well, she was concerned about me and, and she was asking about me while I was in rehab. How's your brother? Is he doing okay? Is he all right? Which strikes me odd since uh, she's refused to say a word to me other than the one time I was coming out my door as she was going in her door right next to me. And I opened my door and she said, don't you dare come out. And I said, uh, stop being silly and just accident and went to my car. At any rate, I'm doing well. And again, thank you for everybody who contributed. Uh, I can't tell you <laughs> how much that has uh, meant to me and, and what a difference it's made because seeing all these specialists at 60 bucks a pop, sometimes three a day, uh, it has been brutal. And uh, I couldn't have done it without your support. I feel like I should have t-shirts uh, made up saying, I saved wise beard man's life because uh, in many ways you did, and, and I, 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 I really appreciate it. Well, I want to stay alive. I want to come roaring back, and I will thanks to you and your support. And uh, I will keep the fight going. So, thank you so much for helping.